Good morning. So um, today, back to Snippet Pixie next. Uh, trying to work out why um, I was having troubles with um, running a database migration with data to move data from an old data uh, table schema to a new table schema. I've just done um, a quick look at the docs uh, related to transactions and contexts and things like that. There's no mention of it. And I've done some um, sort of queries to see if there's any common reason for this and not really found anything. So um, I think uh, part of the problem is probably transactions. I've not done any transactions yet, or I did at one point and took them out again. Um, so I think probably need to do it properly. Um, uh, and then uh, see how we go. So uh, you'll also ho hopefully notice it's the code's a bit easier to read. Um, I had some feedback that uh, it was very hard to read on a phone while it's probably always going to be a little bit difficult to read on a phone. I've bumped up the uh, the font size and so on as well. Um, so hopefully um, it's a little bit easier to see the text now in my IDE anyway. So um, let's, let's see, uh, where were we? So this is, let me see. Um, to get to the right place. Where are we? Here. Okay. Yeah, so we're basically at that point. UUID snippets. It's not being found when it's doing the database migration. Um, we we're also running the test here, weren't we? Let's see, what did we do? And it's schema 100. I think that was the one that was failing. Yeah, so okay, so we can run in here too. Uh, this is the test, um, creates an in-memory database, um, puts some, creates the version 1.0 schema um, with a little bit of data, um, and then creates a new manager, which in theory should do the migration, um, but it's failing. Let's get on. Uh, let's uh, see if we can. It's quite hard to navigate with such big text. I might have to drop it down again later. Yeah, but we'll have a go. Right, so basically transactions. Um, I think we need to do that uh, throughout this thing now. So let's go. Um, anywhere where I am doing anything with a database. I'm going to start using a transaction. And then I think um, in the future, I will be adding a context as well. Um, but that's not needed just yet. We'll come back to that um, after we've got this transaction stuff working. Um, so for a purely query. I'll just skip that for the moment. I don't think I need to worry about that. It's the migrate stuff um, and any inserts and so on. So where would we do these transactions? Are we going to do one in the migrate function or should we do one for each version change? I think I 
think maybe the one for safety, so that if everything goes wrong, the database returns to how it was. Okay, so we'll start at the beginning of the migrate. Does that mean table exists? We should pass in a transaction. I guess so, because table exists. It could be called multiple times, and it needs to be within the transaction for it to be seen. That's the whole point of this. Yeah. Okay. So we will change this. To TX. TX. I think that's all we need to do there. But in here, we need to start the transaction. So um, so it's m dot db dot begin. We haven't got a context yet, so we can't add that. That's interesting. Let me just try. Right, okay. So I'll need to switch that to TX, begin TX if I'm going to use the context version later on. Just need to remember that. Okay. So uh, we have a transaction started. And I was reading the docs. Um, quite a nice little thing is that what you do is you defer a rollback. Because if you've committed it, it's a no-op operation. Um, so let's do this instead. Where is my... Oh, actually, I've got like a... Oh my god, defer rollback somewhere here. Defer. Yeah. I was doing it with the little thingy there. All right, I'll do that. I'll use that method. If it all goes horribly wrong, log and exit. Okay. Okay, so that means we begin a transaction and then uh, should things go horribly wrong, uh, we can on the rollback, we will just exit whatever is calling us because things ain't good. Might have to change that later. That may not be a good idea for uh, a library, but for the time being, should do. 
Um, so now we need to actually start doing things in a transaction. So here we need to pass in the transaction. The table exists, which we've already fixed up. All right, so now let's get to the end of this function. Can't see anything weird going on here. Yeah. So from here on in, so it's until the mark I just made, mark B, substitute M, DB for TX. And it didn't do it. What's going on? There's something weird going on with my ID at the moment. It's not doing search and replace properly with the vim thing i'll have to look into that but i haven't got time to muck about with it just now right so let's change this then so if we haven't got anything Execute the create the table. If we're here, oops. I'm a bit happy with my keys there. Oh, I gotta do that again. Table exists. Exact create table settings. Alter it. Alter the snippets to add last used. Set last use to zero. Create an index. Right now, add setting needs to change. What's a good way of doing that? Mm. Come down, back to that in a sec. I'll just finish off my little MDB changes first. Again, migrate on that'll need to change for sure. All the little function calls in here need to change. Okay. 
So we've got add setting. Needs a transaction. Add snippet. Okay, so that's mm, that's different. This is where it gets tricky because I'm now breaking the way that I'm doing things between different types of function. So in add snippet, because I want to call it from the migrate stuff, I feel like I need to pass in a transaction. But add snippet is very much a to be called from outside, isn't going to be part of um a migration so it's kind of set up to be self-contained it does its own transaction Should it though? The problem here is we don't know who's going to be using this library function. At the moment, it's just going to be me. But could potentially be various ways to call it. I'm not using it in the migration, so I'll skip it for the moment and I'll come back. I think. Come back for it. OK, 
Okay. Um, right, what else am I using? So table exists, we've sorted. Ideally, I just want to quickly get this working and then fix up everything else. Yeah, so add setting is what we need to do. Done that there. Pass in a transaction. Get setting, we're going to need to do that as well. Now the uh, the biggie. Do I want to use the manager in there at all? No, that's not. Let's just pass in a transaction for the time being. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to change this later actually. This should be a prepared statement because it could be called many, 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 many times. Oops. So, about just for now, we'll just put it into the transaction.
And if we get here, in theory, we can commit. Now we just need to find anywhere else we've done add snippet. Nowhere. No oh, setting. Where's that migrate stuff? Why am I not using update? I am using update setting. No, I'm not. So in there, do that, but yeah, see that needs to have a transaction. Right, so the get and the update of setting and the add, they've all got transactions on them now. It's only the snippet stuff that doesn't yet. So we'll have to do that. Migrate. Theory? 
starts a transaction and it's all wrapped in that. new manager takes a DB connection checks it's okay creates the dummy manager and migrates it and then returns the manager. Okay. Let's see if that now passes. Nope. But we did get some ribble. That's good. Oh, interesting. Now, is that, let's do it here, like see more then. That's the log fatal. I wonder. So even Oh, why is it not searching anymore? Eek, right. Uh, oh, it's because I'm in the wrong place anyway. <laughs> it works. Oh dear. Monday mornings. Right, okay, so let's just do... Defer of the rollback like a type. Let's see what happens. Passed. Okay. So you have to be really careful about catching that error because it's saying that it's already rolled back. Maybe we won't be doing these fancy uh, defers anymore. I'll just go with it. Right, so that's good. So that in theory... Does that mean that everything passes now? Yes. Let's get rid of that whipple. Everything passes. That's good. Okay. So that means we now have this function in the test that creates a schema just the snippets table. Creates a bunch of snippets, three.
then the manager does the migration. Right, well, we don't know for sure it does the migration because there's no, nothing here to test that. It's a UUID that we've got now. That's what we've got to do. Um, how do we do that? Some there is some sort of way of testing the type, isn't there? seen it in um, tour go actually that was a long time ago is there a index on this thing Type conversions, I don't think that's it. Or inference because I think it's I think it's a in a switch. I think they did a switch by type. Maybe that was something else. Mm. Oh, I could swear I saw it somewhere. Let's quickly have a look at the uh, type stuff here. There we go. Type switches. <laughs> right. So you take the variable and you just ask for its type. So can I do that in a test? Was before there's anything there? 
Right, okay. Okay, so I could do it that way and then just do true. Or potentially grab the type. Let's see. So, what I'm going to do is test whether oh, it must have worked because I'm using the type safe function. Yeah, it's got to turn a snippet. Oh, sorry, a slice of snippets. Oh, okay, right. So I don't really need to do that. What I need to do is make sure it kind of looks like one. Like a UID. Let's do a quick um, let's do let's try that. because oh, I haven't got a converter for that to go to string. So um, let's try that. Still not going to work. Oh, they've got UUID though. Great. Okay, so I know, but how do I test? Um, what's got a length, I suppose. Does the package have? Um, what package am I using for UID? Okay. 
What's that do? Hmm. What if... Okay. That's a reasonable test. I could also check that it's not nil, I guess. That's, well, I've got strength, I've got length. Maybe I'm overthinking this because if I'm actually getting it back, it's kind of done its job, isn't it? It's not going to work well. I'll scan it into that. That in theory will go bang. I need to kind of remember that I'm working with type safe here. So this no, let's not bother. I'll just test the data we know, and uh, the compiler will sort out the rest. Okay, so we do have a test now for 100. And the 160 is also working. So I think we've kind of done on the initial quick test of that. We actually fixed that by putting in transactions, which is a big lesson learned there. Um, need to be very careful about how we deal with data when we're doing multiple statements on um, whatever this this setup is. Yeah. I think next thing we'll do is fix up all the other stuff to work with transactions. Let's do a quick um, commit. We added here. We added that was already there. Now we added with data. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, test. Schema migrations with data. Okay. So that's, we've got us started. Um, we do need to do a version with uh, schema version 150. 
which is the one that most people are using these days. So let's do that as well. Should in theory be a lot easier now that we've got the basics done. So here we can instantly add last used. We already know that's in the schema. And it's just a timestamp at this point. And then we also need to add settings table. Um, so, oh, actually, in its schema 160 should have that. Right, hold on a second. Did I change that? No, okay. There it is. So we have ye oldy table with an index already. We need a settings table and it should have schema version 150. Then we can start creating snippets. Why is that complaining? That's not true.
I don't know why it's complaining about that because that's not true. Anyway, I might find that otherwise, I guess, later. Ooh. Okay, so we have Stiftin Schema on 50. Should pass the same tests and we should have second one coming back. So the first one coming back as BP. Okay. Let's test. Let's just run it in here to run them all. Got a failure. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Good. <laughs> good, good. Right. So here. What it didn't complain about was last used, which it should have. Um, so we're just going to create a how did we na name it? because last used, I guess. That's a good point. What should I do there? And why didn't that complain? Oh, because I already did it there. That's fine. We will take that then. Control Shift F ten. Try that. Yay. Okay. Good stuff. Right, so everything passed. And we've now tested. A whole bunch of stuff. Schema one hundred and one fifty. I should probably rearrange them. One sixty should really come last.
150, 160. Okay. And again. Hey. One hundred, one fifty, one sixty, add snippet. Get snippets in various ways. Update snippet. Remove snippet. Okay. All right. Well, that's the basics done there. That's good. At least we have migrations being tested. Hopefully, with data, okay. Look to be okay. Data of schema version one fifty. Okay, well, that's good. That's a good place to stop today. Um, need to get on with my day. So next time, I think I need to look at uh, just fixing up. Make sure transactions are as I as they should be throughout, because that was obviously a bit of a lesson learned there. Um, and then maybe do the context thing as well, uh, because we'll be needing that for the CLI and so on. Um, but I need to do a bit of reading up on that first. So. Um, thank you for watching um, and until next time, take care.